in imaginary numbers or complex numbers, we like to have things in the form of a plus bi, which means some number, let's call it with a circle around it, and another number, like with a square around it, i. So these two are regular old numbers, and i is your little imaginary number. So this is your standard nice form of an imaginary or a complex number. So something like 3i over i minus 2 is, um, is a rebel, is not in the right form. He needs to be molded and brainwashed. So how do you get there? Well, you can multiply by the conjugate over the conjugate of the bottom. So people say multiply by the conjugate. Well, you're not really multiplying by the conjugate. You're multiplying by a clever form of 1. So you've got, because you can multiply anything by 1 all day long and nothing changes. So I'm going to multiply by the conjugate of the bottom over the conjugate of the bottom. And since it's really a 1, I'm not changing this value. I'm just changing what the value looks like. So now I have to do the, the arithmetic. So I need to distribute this guy. So I have 3i squared plus 6i. And of course here we have to do this one. So I have i squared plus 2i. If you FOIL, great. I never understood FOIL myself. I got confused as to what each of them meant. So this is minus 2i plus 4. Notice this is specifically designed to make this go poof, poof. That's the cool thing about conjugates, so you can poof away stuff. Three, uh, uh, I squared is negative 1, so this is negative 3 plus 6i. I squared is negative 1, so this is negative 1 plus 4. So I have negative 3 plus 6i over 3. Oh, how sweet is that? So taking it over here, I can do negative 3 over 3 plus 6 over 3i. Careful of this because this guy has to go underneath each piece separated by this plus. So I have negative 1 plus 2i. Now look at that. It's in this little shape. We've got a number plus a number i. So we're all good.